Welcome. Let's get right into the gold mining stocks and look at the gold trade. This is a this has been a pretty key trade for me over the last year and a half. I started pointing out Barrett Gold a year and a half ago. Uh, it's up since then. It's up um, you know 190 percent something like that. Um, it's been a good trade, and so I continue to follow the gold trade. Uh, I think that is a pivotal trade when it comes to major macroeconomics. Let's get right into these charts, give you guys an idea of what's going on. Um, gold seems to be moving a little bit. So um, gold futures, I don't see anything in particular on the gold futures right now. Uh, but look at gold bullion. Here's gold bullion. This is an hourly chart. Let me close the ad. Um, look at the uh, look at the wedge or flag, I guess. Not really a wedge, but more like a flag. So that you got the flagpole here and then you got the this big flag and we're breaking to the upside right there there's your breakout so uh gold's looking good actually gold bullion um so going through some of these miners bear gold so i've been out of this one for a while um i i sold this one back here at 28 37 i uh i traded it a couple times down near support but for the most part it's just gone sideways. So I've kind of sidestepped a lot of this sideways action. Uh, and when I've traded it, I've only bought like half positions and stuff. But it's, um, you know, it's consolidating sideways. And, you know, we had this uptrend. And so, and we broke and we did the back test right here. And you'd think we'd start to move lower, but, but we're not. We're just kind of chopping sideways. So it's not necessarily bearish. In fact, this could be read as as bullish and with with bullion going back building strength see here's the breakout that we had in gold bullion right here and there was no pullback it just flagged sideways and now it's continuing so that is looking good for the the miners just in general so starting to get interested again uh, i might actually anticipate a breakout of this 28 uh, 2830 level on Barrick. I might jump in a little early just to see if we can get this thing to break out like gold bullion. But again, not quite sure yet. I want to see how today plays out, see if, see what kind of happens. I'm going to watch it. So again, that's just what I'm going to do. And, and if I do jump in, I might start to phase in, maybe not all at once, but just start to buy near Newmont Mining. <clears throat> so this one's really the same look except this one's broken out right here. So if you see, you've got some resist, you know, here's your trend line right there. Uh, you know, same kind of flag, it's a, with a slight incline, uh, but we, we broke to the upside. So this could be the start of another leg higher, maybe an impulsive leg, just like this one. Um, it's very possible. Uh, Ag Nico Eagle. This one doesn't look as bullish. Um, here's the thing. We have this nice uptrend line on the hourly chart and we broke it right here. So here's your break right there. Then we did a back test, then you had an impulsive leg down and then we're back testing. And this is just another back test ultimately. So I'm watching this one. This one could fail right here. Um, it, I'm not gonna be buying this one until I see some signs that it can recover that trend line and this was just a whipsaw signal. But given given what gold looks like, you know, it, it is interesting. Uh, <clears throat> this is Anglo Gold Ashanti. They got some weird names, these gold miners. Um, kind of a cool name actually. So same thing, look, uptrend. We broke the uptrend here. Momentum just consolidated sideways. So it's a flag essentially, we're flagging out and then uh, breaking to the upside. So this one, you could say just to put the benefit of the doubt, I would put the high right there. So I would wait for a break above this 27.62 to, to call that a good clean breakout, but um, on the hourly candle. So you'll wanna see an hourly candle and watch, you know, whenever you get a breakout, you can take the breakout, but always watch for a whipsaw, you know, signal, the fake out. Um, you'll see it, you know, you can take the breakout and a breakout is a breakout, so you can take it. But um, if it reverses and whips and, and, you know, starts to get back below the resistance, that's where you bail basically because that's a whipsaw signal. And 
So you can just continue to take the breakout if it continues to break out, but if it, if it closes back below resistance on the hourly candle, or especially a daily candle, then uh, you know that's usually a whipsaw signal, and and then you want to you you'll want to bail uh, on those. And these gold miners like to do that. They do like to whip people, you know, whip people out. They like to break out and then you know roll over and fail. They're they're very they they are volatile. So good trading tools, good trading mechanisms. If you get the move right, lots of money, but they can chop you up a little bit um, around key levels. Here's the Kirkland Lake uh, uptrend broke uh, again, just flagging. So this one I wouldn't want to be bullish until we broke above this uh, right here, forty, call it forty-four bucks, and get an hourly close above there. Until there, we're just gonna we're just flagging. SLV silver. There's a breakout right there, and th this is something I pointed out a while ago where I said, hey, silver looks bullish, uh, even though you know it's it was. It's a precious metal, and the and gold at the time didn't necessarily look bullish. Um, silver was doing this flagging action here, and here's a breakout. We actually broke out yesterday. Uh, no, actually, never mind. We closed. Yeah, you could say we broke out yesterday. I'm mean, gonna have the trend line right here at 1466. So here's a breakout, and then today impulsive with the gap higher. So when you see that gap, that shows an impulsive breakout. Let's go to the hourly. So this is bullish. Um, what I would be looking to do, and I'm actually interested in this, we do have this gap right here too though. So let's look at that and see what we got going on. Something like that. Uh, could be slightly lower. Maybe it's about there. We'll leave it right there for benefit of the doubt. So maybe that's near term resistance, 1553. So what I'd be interested in actually is if this wants to run up and tag 1553 and then pull back and fill the gap i'd be looking to be a buyer uh at that level around 1485 people will probably step in early they they would like to you know everybody sees this as bullish now i mean it, it, the chart is bullish so i would think people step in a little early and maybe you don't actually fully fill the gap uh, I would just wait to look for that. If you see them run in and step in early and we don't fill the gap, that's bullish. That means buyers, uh, There were there's a lot of buyers waiting, just like myself potentially, waiting to jump in and, and buy this thing and, and they're, they're, they'll front run it. So silver looks good, it looks bullish to me. That's uh, that's what that looks like. So, and then resistance, you know, look, you've got some right up here. Um, yeah, right, right there. Sorry, I know I can use the horizontal thing, but if I use this tool, it kind of shows me drawing the trend line versus just plopping it there. Um, resistance at 1628, that's your near term resistance. Pan American go or what is this one? Pan American silver, uh, yeah, breakout right there. But you know, it's a silver miner, so. Um, and silver has that impulsive breakout, so that looks good. Uh, what I'd look for, well, you know, look for a back test. That's your objective area to add. You know, if you chase moves, a lot of the time you'll get burned, at least in the short term. Doesn't mean, you know, if you hold and you're investing, then you're probably all right, given that this chart is looking bullish. But, you know, I always like to, whether I'm investing or trading, I always like to have a good entry and a good position. It keeps me in trades and doesn't shake me out when I've got a good entry position. So yeah, that's uh, 2266 60, roughly, somewhere right around there. Uh, this is the one, so this is kind of my speculative junior miner one that I've been uh, trading and uh, it's done pretty well. I've doubled, had, had a double on it. But um, this is just riding this trend line right here. But here's something I wanna point out and this is exact, you know, I just kind of noticed it Here's this trend line, and again, this was exactly like the Q's chart looked. Look, here's the bottom of the trend that we made back in the March, and you know, pretty uh, impulsive rally off of that trend. You can see from the bottom, we came all the way up to you know 72% right there gain, and then so that pretty impulsive. Then we came back, tagged the trend line again. Look at the angle of reaction. I guess is what I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to uh, enunciate. Um, it's a steep angle. And so you tagged it again, popped up another 
you know, chopped around a little bit. Then now look at this. We've hit support and look, we're just grinding. We're not, you know, we don't have that steep angle of, of reaction, you know, like that, you know, no, now it's, you know, now it's just flat basically that it's, it's now like this. So that tells me this is losing momentum, uh, at least in the short term. Now, what you'd want to look for to confirm that the momentum is still there is I probably see like a gap up. If you get a gap up, that's another impulsive move higher. And that would um, confirm that we're going to probably have another reaction like this. But without that, this looks like we're losing momentum and that we're going to break sooner than later like that. So what I'd look for is a gap up to confirm momentum is still there and and a gap down or a break to, to uh, and this thing gaps a lot. So that will tell me that the, uh, the momentum is done and we're probably going to come back and tag some sort of a support line. If that happens, I'll tag it, I'll flag it out. Um, and, you know, if anybody's interested in this one, this one again for me is a speculative uh, trade. So I do not take large position sizes in this one. I, uh, I do take, um, you know, again, when things are really vault, this thing runs like crazy. I mean, look from the bottom to the high here, 200%. So um, you don't need a large position size. And I would, you know, I can't recommend anything, but in my opinion, don't load the boat with something like this. Ah, here's GDXJ. Thought I'd pop this one up. Um, and again, same kind of action. But look, there's a breakout right there. So uh, nice impulsive break. Uh, running higher. Looks looks good. So again, though, when I see breaks, I kind of like to watch them. I like to see if there's any kind of a back test, things like that. So, um, <clears throat> But in general, looks good. But here's the high. You know, here, this is going to be something of a resistance level so maybe they overshoot the high and then it fails i don't know i'm just saying there's there's things to watch um that's it i'll go ahead and wrap it up here leave a comment below if there's gold miner that i missed uh these are kind of the ones that i like to watch some of the major players but i'm sure there's a lot of them so leave a comment below i'll take a look if i have time give me a thumbs up and catch you guys on the next one